Hello, booktube. Welcome to my channel. I'm Lindy, Lindy's Magpie Reads, and I'm here with a tag, um, 26 random questions. This tag was created by David Murphy, and um, I first saw it being answered on Sean the Book Maniac's channel. And then um, on my most recent subscribers channel, Celia, well, look at me, most recent sub subscriber. Um, all of you that are subscribers to my channel are recent subscribers because it's been less than a week. But anyway, <laughs> um, Celia did uh, the 26 random questions. And um, so the information about those booktubers is going to be down below. And I'm actually only going to answer two of the questions. Otherwise, it would just go on and on. And most of my answers would be just really boring because <laughs> I rarely listen to, to music and I don't watch many movies and I don't watch TV and I don't have a celebrity crush. Um, never been to Minnesota. Anyway, uh, David did talk about his most recent internet rabbit hole. And that was about um, what kind of running shoes to get. And so um, for him, I will answer that my shoes that I wear every day are uh, Salomon lightweight um, hiking boots. And uh, I bought them in 2016. So that's my most recent footwear purchase. They do need to be replaced. They're getting pretty worn out. Um, question number eight is, do you spend a lot of money on shoes? The answer is no, <laughs> but I like to buy good shoes. And when I fell at curling, um, when the uh, emergency medical technicians came to help me out, um, one of the EMS guys asked if he could tie my shoes because I'd taken my curling shoes off and I had just kind of slipped my feet into my Salomons. And he commented on the brand and he said, oh, he loves Salomons too. And um, had lots to say about, you know, long distance hiking, which I like to do. And um, yeah, so Salomons. <laughs> but anyway, the question that I really want to talk about is number 25 and that is what is something you love about the city you live in i live in edmonton it's a winter city although we do have gorgeous summers but the winters are long um, i think our high today is minus minus 27 celsius uh, and this morning with the wind chill it was minus 38 <laughs> I did go out and, and walk to the grocery store, but I was really bundled up. Um, but it's days like this that I think about why do I live here? What do I love about this city? And it reminded me of a literary event that I organized. So that's what I'm going to tell you about. Um, it was called Poetry Becomes Landscape. And I, um, I put together a poetry walk. So the idea was, you know, we started at one point and um, went from place to place. Um, the whole thing took about an hour and a half um, on foot. And we stopped at various locations and um, read poems or an excerpt from a poem that was written about that place. Uh, and uh, the reason why I put it together this was back in 2016. And the reason why I put it together was because I was thinking that I needed to focus more on what I love about this city. And so what I did was I turned to um, poets and words, uh, Edmonton poets who had been inspired by the landscape here and, um, and honored it with their words. So uh, yeah. And that was a way to be reminded of the beauty. And also, you know, there's a difference. It's so easy for me to live in my head. Um, 
And, but I need to be reminded I'm in a physical body. I exist in physical space. And so to experience the poems outdoors in the place that inspired those words um, was really a, a different way of doing it, you know? Um, and it was, uh, so it was a, a non, not a ticketed event, so it was free. And I had no idea how many people would come. There ended up being about 50 people. I do have photographs, so I will, um, I guess, make a slideshow like I did for my uh, pie charts. Mm, and I might add some commentary, I'm not sure. So you can have an idea um, about what it was like. When I think back on that event, uh, I have very mixed emotions. Um, I was so pleased with how successful it was and all the great comments that I got from people who attended. Um, and, but it was also a very sad day for me. Early that morning, my mother had died. Uh, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to do the event. My sweetheart had volunteered to step in if need be. Um, but it ended up being actually a really good thing to do, something to keep my mind occupied. Um, and the words really were uh, a bomb, you know. And there were family members who were also participating in the walk. Um, so I didn't, I didn't mention that when we went from place to place, it wasn't me who was reading the poems. Um, I had volunteers who, different volunteers, did the different readings. In some cases, it was the poet, uh, them, you know, themselves. I, I had no money to pay anybody, so I didn't expect um, poets to volunteer their time, um, but some of them did. And um, one, one poet even wrote a piece especially for the walk, um, Naomi McElwraith who's Métis, and uh, yeah, it was great to have um, Cree words spoken there because that's um, one of the uh, original groups of people who lived on this land. So there's my, um, my 26 random questions uh, shortened down to two. I think I prefer doing short videos. I discovered that um, a long video takes a heck of a long time to upload to YouTube, so shorter is better. <laughs> and um, thank you for watching. And uh, if you've participated in uh, a poetry walk or literary walk of some kind, I'd love to know about it. So. Um, there's a comments place where you can do that. And if there are some um, tags that you'd like me to answer, just, um, you know, do that thing <laughs> where you tag me <laughs> and, uh, um, and I'll do my best. And I'll see you in the next one.